Hello and welcome back to another video about project management. In this video we will be talking about how to handle projected project delays. So if you're managing projects and if you're planning for projects then sometimes you come across scenarios where your projects will not be projected to complete on time and we will be discussing a very simple such scenario and then we will talk about how to identify the reason for the delay and also what we can do to overcome that. And in the next part of the video series, in the next video, we will be talking about a slightly more complex scenario where predecessors are involved, again with the same concept, how do you handle when your project is expected to complete later than you prefer. Now let's go to the template. I'm using the Project Planner Advanced Excel template for this demonstration and we're going to take a very very simple scenario. Our project planning period is from November 1st to April 1st and we have four resources available to us and designer one is available for 25 hours in the week and then developer one is available for 24 hours in the week designer two is available 40 hours during the week and design developer two is also available for 40 hours and we have only one project and the project preferred start date is November 1st and preferred end date is 31st December preferred end date is the date by which we want the project to finish. It doesn't really influence the project scheduling engine that we have in this template. It is there so that you can compare whether your plan says that your project will complete by December 31st or not. If it doesn't then the template will indicate that your project will be late. If it does then the project will the template will say your project will be on time. So that is the main purpose of the preferred end date so you can easily identify which projects are being delayed relative to your preference. And so now we can see that more in this video. I'm going to go to the task sheet. We have two tasks, task 1, task 2, design, develop. The design is assigned to designer 1 and develop is assigned to developer 1. Design project, design task takes 250 hours of effort and develop task actually would take 150 hours of effort. We don't have any predecessors, so it's a very, very simple scenario. And the plan summary will now tell us the project one will start actually expected to start on 2nd November and expected to end on 8th. January. So clearly that is after the our preferred end date so the task the project result is will complete late. And now we're going to find out how and why and then we're going to try to address the scenario. The timeline view will also indicate the same which is yellow it's late and the thin line here indicates the preferred end date for the project and clearly the this project is going to go beyond that. Now let's look at the task schedule to understand at the task level what could be happening and why the delay is happening. So the task 1, task 2, task 1 is projected to end on 8th January, task 2 is projected to end on 14th December. So clearly task 1 is where we need to focus on to see how we can improve the chances of that completing earlier. and. So we can see the Gantt chart again displaying the same thing. Task 2 will actually finish on 14th. Task 1 continues all the way until January 8th. In order to now address this issue, let's go back to the plan summary and look at one thing that we didn't look at, which is the resource availability and resource summary. This tells us that designer one, there's all these four resources, what their utilization rates are, and there's also visual representation here. Clearly, you know, designer one is used 45% of the time, designer two is not used at all. In this simple example, it doesn't say much because we only have two tasks and we haven't we don't have a lot of tasks assigned to a lot of resources. But in your real project world where you have a lot of tasks and a lot of different resources are being assigned then your this resource utilization right chart is very very critical it easily identifies which resource is being underutilized so you can give more work to that person and if a resource is assigned 100% utilization rate you clearly know that that person has been completely utilized and take decisions based on that information so let's 
keep that in mind and I'm going to go back to the setting sheet. Now designer one is assigned that task which is causing the delay and designer one is actually only available 25 hours a week but there is another designer again in the naming I'm implying that the designer one and designer two can do the same task they have same level of skill now designer two is available 40 hours of every week so clearly if you assign that task to designer two you have a better chance of that task being completed earlier so now I'm going to do exactly that I'm going to go to the tasks and I'm going to change this to designer 2. Immediately I'm going to go back to the plan summary. You can see that the chart is updating and our more interesting part of the um, sheet here is the project summary which says that now the project will actually complete on time and it is going to end on 15th December. The timeline view now shows in green. Great task schedule now. You can see that task 1 will complete on 15th, task 2 will complete on 6th. So all we have done is to assign the ta delayed task to a resource who has more availability, who is available for more hours every week. So that clearly solved the problem for us. You can also address it in another way if you have the option. If you can ask this designer to actually be available more hours every day, then you could, that could work too. So for example, if we can ask designer one to be available more days during the week. So I'm going to select all this, press eight and hit control enter. Now it puts eight in all these cells and now designer one is now available eight hours every weekday. So clearly now we can go back and reassign this task to designer one and we will still get the same result, which is the project will end on 15th December will be on time so everything is good. So clearly what we have done is to increase the chance of project completing earlier very straightforward increase the availability of the resources. The increasing the availability of resources means that you need to identify which tasks are first delayed and then find out which resources they are assigned to and then identify which resources have more availability and reassign the tasks. And that's kind of what we did very simple. In the next example, in the next video, I will be talking about a slightly more complex scenario where we have predecessors involved. In this simple example, in this video, we didn't have any predecessors. Two tasks were completely independent. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you. Thank you very much for watching the video.